Ladies and gentlemen, the first man to build 21 inch biceps, drug free. My friends, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it, it's funny that I, it, it just makes me, fascinates me with how many people that have seen my videos and the one that haven't never heard of me, but the ones that have seen my videos, they expect me to have an opinion on everything. I have an opinion on things that affect the mind and in general, but I don't have an opinion on everything. Some things I just dismiss, but let me tell you, this is more than an opinion. I get quite a few emails asking me, what do I think of Sergio Oliva? Well, let me tell you something. Sergio Oliva is the most fantastic bodybuilder I've ever seen. He was unbelievable. Arnold, but I, you know, I, Arnold, of course, to me, it came. But as, as a body, Arnold was actually, when he first saw Sergio, he was frightened. He said he'd never seen anything like it. This man's width and thickness and down to that warp's waist, tremendous, that was just, just not seen. He was so incredible that he entered a contest nobody else entered. Nobody entered. Never in my long experience in bodybuilding have I ever experienced a contest where this man's body was overwhelming. And I'll tell you something, my friends, what makes it so incredible. This man was taking the rudiments of, of bodybuilding. Diana Ball, and I think it was a little Decker. That was all that was available then. If he was around now with all of this designer drugs that they have today, he would be, un nobody would be able to touch him. I mean, this man was fantastic. Arnold, and I mean, now, the world's greatest bodybuilder, as I said a number of times, is Arnold. Because Arnold transcend bodybuilding. Arnold made bodybuilding something that people just think with big dopes couldn't even put the two words together. When you transcend, it's more than just a body, because I'll tell you something. A lot of people never heard of Sergio. Everybody heard of Arnold. And Sergio, I mean, his body would make you take a double take. But you, let me tell you something, my friends. He was, and I'm going to tell you, my, he was the rottenest, lousiest human being you could. I have, he never, I, I met Sergio a number of times. Sergio destroyed himself with his arrogance. He wouldn't sign autographs. I remember Jerry Burnham tried to do an article on him. He wanted $15,000. This man, I mean, his character, his wife shot him three times. I mean, this man, when he, and let me tell you something, my friends, because I get a little upset because I see the greatness of his body all destroyed his legacy because he had no character. It always fascinates me, my friends. He never saw being empty. Arnold's a master charm. He also had a great body. was a master job. Everybody was excited about Arnold because they liked him. Nobody liked Sergio. He wouldn't sign autographs. He would. But the thing that destroyed him, let me tell you, Joe Weider is the father of bodybuilding in a sense. Joe Weider didn't publicize himself per se, but he, the magazines he had was exciting. When Joe put you on the cover, everybody knew. Joe Weider, my mentor, the most influ influential man in my life with that number, a number of times. If he was in your corner, he'd make you. If Sergio wasn't so arrogant and obnoxious, Joe Weider would have made him a household word in bodybuilding. But when he demanded $5,000 a week, to pose for Joe and to work for Joe and treated Joe like Joe was his employee. Joe turned on him. Joe turned on him. That read, and the arrogance, of, he, start, he spoke to Joe 
like Joe was a peasant. I mean, Joe loved bodybuilding, my friends. He made Arnold. Arnold had the skill, but he brought it out. He brought it out. I'll tell you something. You will hear Arnold always praise Joe Weida because you know why? Joe brought Arnold to this country from Austria. Arnold was nobody. He didn't have nothing much of a body. But Joe saw the potential. You know, he saw the potential of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he publicized and promoted him. Got the, the mainstream media interested in this articulate uh, guy that was not only articulate and charming, he had this tremendous body. He became intriguing. I'll never forget when Arnold and Sergio was on a, a, a TV program quite a few years ago. And they were sitting next to each other. I mean, and Arnold was actually intimidated by, by Sergio because of his body. And uh, Arnold was so forward and charming. And Sergio said, ah, you couldn't beat me on your best day. And I said, Sergio, shut the fuck up. I'm looking at this. I said, don't be so arrogant. Shut the fuck Have some humility. Nothing makes you more. People are more intrigued by you when you're so fantastic and you have humility. People got to like you. All the skills in the world won't help you if they don't like you. Bill Clinton, the president, I'm sure a lot of you got even too young to remember him. But Bill Clinton, was they tried to impeach him and throw him out of office. You know why it failed? Because the people liked him. If they don't like you, you don't stand. Your skill don't mean shit if they don't like you. And I see a lot of people don't even don't even know about Sergio. And you know something? Joe never put Sergio on his cover. And Joe was the man in bodybuilding. If you wanted to be known in bodybuilding, you had to make, you had, Joe had to want to like you or think of your body, and you had to be not humble, but have he treated Joe. I was like fascinated. I said, do you know who Joe is? Fuck him. That's what he said. I said, oh my God. He never came across his mind. Who will know you if you're not promoted? These other little magazines that promoted him, they didn't come up. Joe, what's that? Muscle Builder, Your Physique, Flex. Those were the magazines everybody went to to see who was out there. And who's who Joe promoted? Joe had Reg Lewis on his covers God knows how many times. Because he went by Dave. But uh, but Sergio, I mean, Sergio really is the most fantastic bodybuilder I've ever seen. And when I see these guys that they are all loaded with every drug that you can think of, no real shape, just flab and muscles. Sergio had that huge. Huge muscles and fantastic taper that make you what I mean, never in my life, and man, I've been around a while. Never in my life I've ever heard of a contest where everybody was afraid to enter. Nobody entered against him. He won by default. But he was a terrible man. He just a, a man that you I mean, character-wise. So, I mean, he was just so arrogant and so into himself. His wife shot him three times, almost killed him. I mean, he was just the kind of man that you would say, what is the matter with you? Why are you destroying your legacy, your phenomena? Why did he could understand that? He, I, it's beyond me. I mean, everything was me. It was all about Sergio. And he destroyed his legacy. I mean, the man was fantastic. I mean, actually, for body-wise, I think he was the most fantastic bodybuilder of all times. Really. And these guys today, I, I hate to say it, I, I, they don't do nothing for me. They load with every drug that God knows about. They put in liquid in their muscles and all that. I mean, I, I just can't even relate to that. Sergio took Diana Ball, and, and I'm heard, I heard he took Decker, but Diana Ball was the thing that. That's all he took. And that's why with all that huge, wide expand of muscle and that wasp muscular waist, those big thighs, I mean, he was a phenomenon. 
and he destroyed it all with being all about Sergio. And I tell you something, my friend, not my friend, but Barry Barnes, the home run hitter that come to the store in, in Englewood, I'm not in, in Sherman Oaks in California, and we used to talk for hours. And I said, Barry, why were you the way you were? He was he was another one. Not like not Sergio was in the world of his own. But Barry didn't sign autographs, he didn't build, people didn't like him. He don't have a fan club. And they'll tell you something. They all know the first man that hit over 500 Babe Ruth because they liked him. They don't like Barry. And I said, Barry, why were you like that? He said, I don't know. He's sorry now. He said, I was just all into myself. But he wasn't nasty. Sergio, my friends, was nasty. Sergio, I, I, I just feel, I said, my God, this man would have been a phenomenon, a legacy. He is a phenomenon. But the world would know of him. But he was too, everything was how much it is to do an article, but you should be glad to promote yourself. Jerry Burnham wanted to do an article on him. He said, give me, I need 15000 He told Joe Greedy he wanted 5000 a week. I mean, for what? The, the publicity and the legacy and what he could have made later. And, you know, he died a young, relatively young age, 71 years old. You know, and I mean, he didn't, uh, I mean, and he, his diet after, after he stopped trading was just awful. He had everything, soda and everything was just terrible. It just makes me sad, my friends, to talk about him. But I, the way I am, but I'm telling you, Sergio, I knew Sergio. And you know, funny thing, I don't know, maybe because people are like, he was nice to me. He didn't, I mean, he was... Cause well, of course I wasn't. I mean, I wasn't asking him for nothing, you know. And he and I, I, I appreciate his respect for me, you know. But he was just a terrible human being, and I hate to tell you that. And I know a lot of you don't want to, but I know him. If not, I'm not sure what I read about him. I know him. I know the people that dealt with him. I know Joe Weider, which would have made him a star. And he's. Not a star because he destroyed himself. When you're all about yourself, my friend, you're not far you're going to go, no matter what you got to offer. Well, my friends, this is what I have to say about Sergio so you know to be. You will, the ones that know me now know what I'm going to say. The ones that don't know, but to be, continue. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you click away, I want you to subscribe, like, comment, hell, even dislike if you want to. At least do something before you get out of here.